my people do you remember shen the jamaican guy hey my people shen dropped a bombastic message to dimwango if you want to get the gist of this you better watch this video up to the end so guys let's do this greetings to you my dear people how are you good morning good afternoon good evening depending on your time zone and of course the time that you watch this video it is my prayer that my video as always will find you good of health so my people how are you i hope you are fine i'm good as you can see so guys today i want to do a very short <laughs> introduction but guys you know the tingle please like this video before you watch it up to the end kindly do not skip the adverts it's one way of supporting uh content creators so guys i want to take you back to jamaica jamaicans in the house wagon <laughs> naf naf love yeah that is how you say it naf naf love i hope so so jamaicans in the house wagon greetings to you receive so much love from kenya hey guys why have i started by mentioning the jamaicans because the jamaicans are the real tingle if you know you know our girl dimwango is so much loved by the jamaicans like the love the jamaicans have for dimwango like it is the kind of love that nobody can take it away do you get the tingle and you know the way uh the naysayers have started also doing i was watching uh was it yesterday or the other day i was watching coco mama and she was like it is not only d who loves jamaica do you get the tingle and she was like i'm also a fan of jamaica so everyone is in love with jamaica i love jamaica i'm in love with jamaica do you get the tingle if you know you know so guys do you remember shane the guy he's a jamaican guy of course you know if you are a team d shane uh, was among the very very first people that d mwango met the first time she went to jamaica if you can go back to shane's video or d mwango's video the first time she came to jamaica he's among the first people that he met and guys shane helped Dimwango a lot uh, to create con uh, creating content in the countryside. And actually it was Shen that was recording Dimwango because that one we came to learn later on. And you know, Shen took her to so many places. I think I should bring one of the videos because I have my backup phone. So let me uh, just show you. Let's go back to that moment before I tell you the sweetest part of the juicest news that I have for you today so let's go back a bit and just capture that particular moment so guys let's do this here it is i hope you can see shen and dim wango Yeah, so there we have Dim Wango and Shen. You can see Shen wearing a red top and a jean. Trouser, a jean trouser. So that is it. I just wanted to take you back then so that you understand where this story is starting from and ending to. So guys, we all know Shane. And you know Shane um, is among the very, very first people that met Dim Wango in Jamaica. The first time that Dim Wango went to Jamaica. And actually, I was uh, going through Shane's channel and this is one of the videos that has the highest number of views at 37k views 
that is nine months ago uh he was among the first people that met d and they you know they become friends they traveled to so many parishes together and all that and eventually we saw d mwango taking shen to uh you know those places <laughs> those places do you know those places like out of jamaica do you remember the first trip that flopped and then people came out to attack d mwango like you know ah d mwango yeah like this was a prank like D Mwango, there's no way d mwango can pay for shen like do you get the tingle people were like not trusting d mwango and people talked a lot about d mwango that time until d mwango brought out the reservation ticket if i'm not wrong you can correct me and just uh, placed it in her community post so that people uh, could see for themselves that d mwango had actually made plans to travel with shen but after that when she came back to jamaica she made sure that everything was under check and they eventually uh, traveled together so let me pull out the video of where they traveled together because this story is very very interesting do you get the tingle it is also interesting that i want you to connect the dots so that you understand where we are heading to you know sometimes people come and just drop comments without knowing the full story like they can't uh, be able to connect the dots until it creates a straight line do you get the tingle like someone will just come and just watch a part and drop their comment so well, the reason why i'm going back to all these videos i want you to get the real gist so guys let's do this let's do this the first place that they traveled together with d mango was in trinidad do you remember that time so let's see part of the video in trinidad oh. Sorry for that. Sorry for that. So I'm just trying to avoid the the music. So you remember them in Trini? Shen is there. So that is Shen having a good time in uh, in Trinidad. So let's move to the next country that they travel together, and that is Grenada. Grenada. I don't know whether it is uh, that is how it is pronounced, but I hope you get the gist. After that, they went to Grenada. So I've just uh, muted, but you can see Shen in Grenada. And remember, he was there courtesy of D. Mwango. Hey, my people, courtesy of who? Courtesy of D. Mwango. So there we have uh, Esther escorting them. Yeah, that is Esther. And then, uh, sorry, not Esther. That is D. Mwango and then Shen. They were heading to Grenada. And they spent there a few days. And guys, something happened. When D. Wango met Shen, his views started viewing. You all know. Like, that is so obvious. And that is what happens to any channel in, uh, in case you come in contact with a celebrity. That is uh, one thing that is so obvious. And Shen's channel did very well. In fact, it is still doing well. The videos that he's still doing, uh, the videos that he's still shooting and posting in YT, they're, st they're still... You know getting views and all that but it's because of d mwango if you go back and watch his channel before d mwango the views were not viewing but after meeting d mwango and traveling with her then things started becoming good for shen and and you know we had so many people coming out here to uh, as usual to talk uh, bad about d mwango they talked about you know d mwango like shen being a boy boy for d mwango you get it like there's no way Dimango can just pick Shen to travel with him all over those uh, Caribbean countries without having hidden agenda. 
but we know the truth. It was go out of good heart. And it is the same thing that we are seeing now with Caster. So I don't know why people want to basically uh, blow everything out of proportion. Like, you know, it's not, uh, that's a, a serious joke. Like, seriously. So, recently, Shen came out to appreciate Dimwango. And he did it publicly. Hey, <laughs> So I want to read for you the uh, Shen's community post. He posted this two days ago. So I can, first let me show you. The light there is too much. This is the community post that Shen uh, did. So guys, let me read for you. So Shen posted, that is two days ago, at D Mwango, how can I repay you? Even though I'm having some problem with my YouTube payment, but it is just love and love alone. Can I repeat that? Can I say it louder? <laughs> at D Mwango, how can I repay you? Even though I'm having some problem with my YouTube payment, but it is just love and love alone. Why did Shen post this? It was a way of him appreciating D Mwango because D Mwango made his channel to grow and he came out publicly to acknowledge that. And we had uh, a lot of beautiful comments uh, from people. So I'm going to read a few of the comments that people dropped. So we have this one. This is a beautiful message to Dim Wango for holding your hand and showing you the other side of the Caribbean islands. You are a great person, Shane. You remembered the beginning of your very difficult YouTube journey and those who helped you to navigate this space called YouTube. Big up, up to Dim Wango. One love. What a beautiful message. Uh-huh. And I, okay, let me check out. This is a comment that was dropped by Dimwango herself. Shen, you are the most humble person I have ever met in my life. God bless you even more. I'm grateful to have met you in my life and believing grateful people and loyal people still exist. See you when I touch down. So that, uh, that is a message from Dimwango herself. Guys, Shen is teaching us to all, uh, you know, it's very important to be grateful. It's very, very important to be grateful. And of course, among these beautiful comments, so let me read one more. Uh-huh. One more comment. Shen, I love you. Keep moving forward, D. We love you. These are messages from Jamaicans. Most of the comments here are from Jamaicans. And that is why I said Jamaicans have a lot of love to Dim Wango. Like, they love her so dearly. And this is something that nobody can take away, you know, from Dim Wango. And the naysayers gonna choke and get it. And then, uh, uh, of course, there's a message here from Ahera. I don't get it. Dim Wango paid him. Like, seriously. Dim Wango is not the owner of YouTube. But this was a message of appreciation. Just to appreciate the good work that Dim Wango brought into his channel uh-huh you see another comment from a hater d takes she doesn't give if she helps shen she'll be back to collect <laughs> of course we know these are haters and we are going just to leave it at that point but what i'm so so much happy and excited about is the way shen came out to appreciate dimango by the, the other day uh, when i was watching carrot she talked about Erumbi. If you don't know Erumbi, she's a, she, she used to be a house help in Dubai, but she's back to her home country, that is Uganda. We had Carol talking about, you know, the way uh, she was a positive reactor and it never paid her like uh, the, Ma, you know, Maro and Dimwango never paid her anything. As if we are doing this to pay. Ah, does it mean that because you are doing your negative content, there's someone paying you for that to spread negativity? We are just doing this because this is what we see. And just because of the love that we have for uh, this family, like specifically, the love that I have for Dimwango is up there. This girl has done amazing, like amazing. Just look at her. Just look at her. By the way, I was looking at her Insta just a few minutes ago. And Dimwango is having a lifetime, her lifetime in Zanzibar, enjoying at the beach. 
Do you get the tingle? She was there in the water, you know, soaking her feet in the water, eating watermelon, you know, uh, doing 360. Here in Kenya, we call that 360. Hey, I don't know how you call it in your country, but do you know how you can, like, stretch your legs and then you, like, do something like this? That is what we call 360 here in Kenya. So I don't know whether it is the, uh, the same, like, out there. Is that 360? Where you can just stretch your legs, one leg to go this other side and then the other side, and then you just sit. Is it 360 or 180? Hey, I'm getting confused. Please come and help me out. And just the, she's just amazing. She's just amazing. Look at her. I always admire her, the way she navigates in strange places. Hey, some of us cannot do that. You'll see her in the streets in Asia interacting with the people enjoying their food and all that going to different places and their confidence so i don't know how how do you just get energy to hate such a person eh carrot so guys that aside let's talk a little bit about maro maro is in nairobi and we saw him and hey the love of his life the love of his life that is rocio we saw them uh, in nairobi uh, in fact maro went to meet Raw to pick her at Wilson's airport. Hey guys, Maro is romantic. <laughs> Maro is romantic. And you know, uh, the racers have always been out here trying to prove the way Maro is not romantic. Seriously, there's no man that is not romantic. Let me tell you, my dear ladies, there is no man that is not romantic. The only problem is, are you the right person for that person, for that particular man? If you are the right person, the romantic part of a man will come out. It is just obvious. They'll have time for you. They'll create time for you. They'll give you anything in this world, provided you are the one that they feel. <laughs> Do you get the tingle? So they've been talking about, oh, Mara is not romantic. Oh, Mara behaves like a village boy. Oh, Mara does not know how to treat women and all that. No. The question is, are you the right person? <laughs> are you the right person? Once you are the right person, you'll get all these things. Do you get the tingle? So guys, I want us to take a few minutes and uh, just look at Maro on his way to the airport. So guys, let me uh, pick the video for you. Uh, talking, uh -huh. like you are talking to someone. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. uh, can, can you guess uh, uh, how many subscribers on YouTube I have? From the way I'm talking and, 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 and you know? Like you're 20, you're 20, okay. A thousand. 20,000. 20, yeah. 20,000. You feel like I'm experienced or 50-50? <laughs> yeah. Wilson Airport. I don't know where Wilson is, to be honest. I have I have over half a million. Huh? I have over half a million. <laughs> What's your name on YouTube? Uh, I am Marwa. Huh? I am Marwa. Are you Kenyan? Yeah, I'm Kenyan. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I, I could be the most followed YouTuber in the country, but uh, I do a lot of international travels, on and off. So guys, have you seen that? Hey, Marwa. By the way, Marwa is a people's person. You know, uh, there are people that are so introverted that uh, it's so hard, like, to strike a conversation with them. But... If you want to become a very good vlogger, that this one I just believe, you must be a people's person. Like you must be vibrant. So look at Mara, he's in his Uber. Uber is a taxi on his way to Wilson Airport to pick Ro. And then he meets this uh, taxi driver. By the way, if you go back and watch the video, at the start, the taxi driver seemed not to be so much like paying attention to Mara. But when Mara told him, that uh, he has over a half a million subscribers. The guy was so shocked. And I hope you saw him reaching out to take his phone. And he immediately subscribed to Marwa's channel. Like this guy was like, are you a Kenyan? Do you get the tingle? Like, are you a Kenyan? And he was like, oh my God, who is this person? And by the way, I told you the other day well, uh, in one of my videos, it is so hard for Marwa and Dimwango to be very well known in Kenya. And the reason is because they are international travelers. And let me tell you, ju let me just uh, uh, tell you this. Most Kenyans, we don't consume travel um, content. Do you get the tingle? Most Kenyans don't do that. And that is why 
you will find that Marwa and Dimwango and the likes of the other travelers, they are not well known because of the type of content that they create. And this guy was so, so shocked. Like, seriously, I'm meeting a, you know, a big person of a half a million subscribers. Like, he can't believe it. Like, he was so, so shocked. Guys, hey, let's uh, keep on looking at this taxi driver. Marwa. Marwa is M-A. R A, I could type for you if you want. Guys, is shocked. Huh? <laughs> I am Maro. I am. Yes. Guys, there's traffic. Maro. Yes. <laughs> and that is Toyota. Toyota, they have a very big facility. So, guys, you can see the power, <laughs> the power of being a celeb. Hey, like the guy he is now concentrating on him subscribing to Marwa's channel. Like he couldn't believe. Do you get the tingle? And I saw a comment here. Let me see whether I can get the comment. I don't know whether I can get the comment here. There's a comment that someone dropped here and the comment uh, made me feel like, wow, wow, wow. So guys, I don't know whether I'll get the comment. <laughs> Okay, I don't know. Okay, so guys, I don't know. When I get the comment, I th uh, I'll share it with you. And then you see, there's. A, let me read one of these comments. Maro does not fake life. He takes life the way it is. Much love from Texas. Actually, if there's a person who is uh, very sincere, is Maro. Maro does not edit his content. He doesn't. Like, you know, uh, most of the content creators, like after shooting a video, you sit down, listen to the whole of it, edit, remove whatever you don't want people to see. Do you get it? And then uh, let the public consume whatever it wanna consume. Do you get it? And Marwa, he just vlogs and publishes his video. <laughs> vlogs, publishes. So he doesn't uh, uh, really fake a lot. There's a comment that someone uh, had dropped. Oh my God, where is the comment? I, I really wanted uh, to read it for you. I really wanted to get it for you. Yeah, it's here. It is so funny how people could be rubbing shoulders with famous people unknowingly. Let me repeat that. It is so funny how people could be rubbing shoulders with famous people unknowingly. And that is so true. Like sometimes you can meet a person who is very famous. You can even interact with them. But you will never know. You may uh, later on discover. And you'll be like, oh my God. Maybe I would have utilized this chance when I met this famous person. Maybe this uh, famous person, uh, would have, uh, I would have talked to them. And they would have inspired me. Or they would have helped me. And, so, uh, and this is what, what we see through Maro. Like the taxi driver was so short. How? How comes this person is a Kenyan with all this number of subscribers? Do you get the tingle? So let's move on. Mara at uh, Wilson's airport. <laughs> Our Mara is romantic. I don't know why you people say that he's not romantic. Because a person is not romantic. Oh, I just want to get to the exact place where he gives raw. Guys, we are heading to... Oh, oh, oh. This one will come out today or tomorrow latest. I'm here and I'm Uber, heading to the airport to surprise my love Elizabeth. Did you actually know like Rocio's other name is Elizabeth? Now you know. <laughs> so let's see our romantic Marwa. Keep my camera down. Guys, I just arrived at the airport. I'm waiting for Rocio's flight to land. It should be around 45 minutes from the village. And uh, now I'm here just chilling. Actually, she's there. I see you. Oh my god. Uh, I, 
So you see how my bar is romantic. He bought flowers for us here. Now I don't know what the negative reactors are going to say. You know, they may come out here and say the, the way the flowers are cheap. Hey, as I always tell you, these people can tell you anything. They can come out here and say, oh, those flowers are very cheap. Hey, or, you know, he could have bought this and this type of roses. Do you get the tingle? They'll just come out and say anything. Just watch their space. Watch this space. Carrot must come out and say something about the flowers that Mara bought. Do you get it? But we can all uh, come to an agreement that this man is romantic. He's in love with Ro. And he, he's doing everything possible to ensure that this relationship works. So my people, if you have watched this video up to this far, why don't you consider subscribing if you have not done so? To my returning people, mwah, I love you. That one you know, just from the bottom of my heart. To the newest people, welcome. Thank you so much for subscribing. Please watch the ad up to the end. Do not skip. Thank you so much and goodbye for now.